Good morning everyone, welcome back to another week and welcome back to another studio vlog. Um, it's already almost lunchtime but since I work on Saturday I took like a slow morning and I let myself sleep uh, a little bit longer. I don't know if you remember from last studio vlog I told you that I was going to do like a workshop, a live workshop um, and I did and I think it went super well and yeah that was on Saturday afternoon and the workshop was about how to make stickers at home without any cutting machines and without a printer so it was actually quite nice to explore that part a little bit as well um, in the back it's still a mess from the workshop because I still need to record like a little video uh, to put on YouTube on the page of the um, the stationery shop and art shop I don't know what to call it this week it will be a week of Patreon again um, as I told you on previous videos I like to send my Patreon boxes in the middle of the month so that my patrons can receive them like in the month that the box was sended so I would like to do the box this week I want to do a video focus on that again because I don't want to bore you with that every month um, I'll show you bits and pieces but yeah <laughs> I need to restock the um, the Game Boy notepads because I don't have any uh, in stock right now and I was having some problems with my Photoshop I'll show you in a little bit I also need to pack some orders let's start working and let me show you how the studio is right now from the weekend <laughs> this was the set for the workshop I had like a little tripod in here and then I showed like some examples of some stickers that I already did this was the final result I basically painted with watercolors and color pencils on the, um, the sticker sheets and then I basically cut it and I talked about two ways of cutting like with a, a scissors and an exacto knife to do like sticker sheets and it's still a mess because as I told you before I need to like still record the video it was the workshop and a little behind the scenes of it <laughs> and about the photoshop problems my computer um, did like an update of the windows and when I opened photoshop like the colors it's all messed up in every document like in the whole computer everything it's okay it's just on Photoshop so I basically had to change the color settings this you can see that the colors now are correct but when I did this and I wanted to print some things this happened the colors were like the reds were like orange I tried different color profiles for the printing but then I tried to uh, go back so as you can see the colors are all wrong again they are really saturated saturated and with a lot of pink and blues um, but then when I printed they were okay so you can see like there's a really big difference from this one to this one it's a big difference so basically now I have to to print correctly, I need to have my computer in the wrong colors, which is a pain because to check the right colors, I'll be needing to change the color profiles and then to print, I need to change the color settings again so we print correctly. But yeah, I don't know why. On this computer, Photoshop, it's working fine. It's just on this one because it updated the windows. And already look online and this is the only way to do it so yeah if you already had the same problem and if you have like a better solution already uninstalled Photoshop installed again updated the drivers I did everything and nothing works so if you had the same problem and if you have like a definite solution please tell me
it's finally all cleaned and ready to pack your orders <laughs> so let's go went to the post office and that it's done so now let's restock the Game Boy notepads and get that out of the way <laughs> I'm loving this light. <laughs> it's already the end of the day and I don't know why the light is super nice right now. There's no sun, so I think that's why because the light is not so strong, but you don't care about that. So I already finished the notebooks, the notepads. Now I'm going to do some freelance work on the computer. I can't really show you anything, so 
I guess I'll talk with you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to start with the Patreon boxes and I also want to start um, choosing some designs for tote bags because I want to release the tote bags probably next week. So we'll see about that. And yeah, but I'll keep you posted. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Welcome to Tuesday, so I already edit the video for the workshop um, and what else did I do? I did some sketchbook drawings uh, for the Patreon boxes and I already have some ideas of what I want to do. It will be autumnal theme again but very different from what it was last month so yeah I'll keep you posted on that and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit once everything is more ready. You're welcome to Wednesday. The Patreon boxes are finally done. <laughs> I am so tired. It was such a rush to finish them. Um, I was trying to go to the post office today but it's now 6 um, and my post office closes now at 5.30. It's all fine. I'll just go in the morning tomorrow but yeah, it was a rush um, to finish all the products because I really wanted to post them today so that the Portuguese patrons could get the boxes still this week. But yeah, I must say, I think this is probably my favorite Patreon box so far. I didn't want to post the Patreon stuff like as a spoiler, so I basically filmed like the whole process of things because the last time I talked to you it was yesterday um, which for you was just like two seconds ago because this is the first footage you're seeing from me from today but I filmed the whole process um, and the footage you're going to see next it was from yesterday and today until I finished all the boxes and all the goodies so what I'm going to do is I'll insert the images next um, so spoiler alert for patrons, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the minute you can go next somewhere over here, um, like a safe minute where you can go um, and where I'm not showing any more patron stuff, so go to this minute over here. Um, if you don't want to see like the process of making of this box and all the goodies in it, so yeah. <laughs>
I hope you enjoy, enjoyed seeing the process of the making of things. I only filmed a little bit of the making of the pins for the whales uh, tier because I ran out of battery for the camera. I finally bit the bullet. I bought a second battery for the camera. So yeah, because sometimes I'm just waiting for the camera to charge or the battery so that I can keep doing stuff. I think I'm going to eat something because I'm really hungry right now uh, because I still didn't stop since lunchtime and yeah, then I'm going to rest because I'm really really tired and yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow tomorrow I'm starting to um, think about designs for the, um, the tote bags and I want to do like some new characters and some new drawings for the next shop update that I want to do soon so yeah, it will be a lot of drawing and I also need to do the prompt for this week for a penestober. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. everyone it's super sunny in here it's so warm and nice i was answering some youtube comments i already did a restock of some stickers as well as well and i was going to record a podcast for my patrons but i got the hiccups yeah i think it's gone now so i'll try to record it <laughs> um but yeah i just wanted to say hello first and yesterday i already did some planning of the next shop updates because i want to do like a christmas collection with some christmas illustrations but i also want to do like a shop update for the tote bags and some new illustrations so i didn't know what to do but it's getting kind of late to launch christmas stuff because of the time that shipping apply is here because of the time that shipping is taking especially to the united states and australia and stuff like that so i think i'm going to launch the tote bags next week on my shop um and then i can put some new stickers and like a really small shop update next week so i need to work on the tote bags designs um and stuff like that. I'm not going to have like the tote bags in stock. I'll just put them in my shop and every time I get a order, I'll just make them. So what I'll need to have in stock is just like the transfer sheets and the tote bags themselves. Um, and then I think I'll uh, launch the um, Christmas, it's not like a Christmas collection uh, specifically because I want to launch other stuff as well for people who don't celebrate Christmas because I think this time of the year it's very focused for shops 
on Christmas stuff and everything it's kind of left out and I don't want to do that I want to still have some new things uh, for people can give as presents as well because I personally don't give Christmas stuff as presents so yeah I want to do that but it needs to be like end of October and the uh, beginning of November so that shipping can reach on time it's the plan so basically um, I'm going to record the podcast now because now the e-cups are done uh, and are gone and then I think I'll work on some new illustrations and you can draw with me on the iPad so I'll talk to you in a little bit Hello everyone, welcome back to another podcast so I'm now in the studio and <laughs> I was meant to be recording this podcast at least 15 minutes ago but I was having hiccups and I couldn't talk <laughs> for just a few seconds without having one so I don't think that will be a very nice podcast to listen <laughs> Hello, so I end up not making any illustrations. I basically recorded the Patreon podcast and I edited, I posted on Patreon and then I went and I finally ironed the, um, the tote bag. This is backwards. <laughs> and I finally ironed it. I mean, it's not perfect. The thing is, I washed it at 40 degrees. Um, and I think that was too hot uh, for it so what I'm going to do when I put them in the shop I'm going to add like a tag that goes with the tote bag that says that you can only wash it in cold water um, and you should wash it by hand and not in the machine otherwise like with the machine going and everything it will wrinkle like a lot because of the fabric you can see like it has a lot of small wrinkles um, since it was too hot um, the um, um, the tote bag also shrink like some centimeters um, but the print quality looks perfect and super super nice um, it looks exactly like when I um, put it in the tote bag so yeah I think I'm going to warn people um, that um, on the website and when they buy it that they can only wash it with cold water and by hand but other than that the material and the printing it's perfect I really really like it and I'm super happy with it that was the rest of my afternoon um, and I still need to do the finished over uh, drawing and I'm going to do that tomorrow and I'm going to do the illustration again I already did the sketches yesterday so let me show you these are the sketches <laughs> and this I want to turn into a sticker sheet and into a notebook I'll be painting them tomorrow um, I'm going to film it but I'm going to end the studio vlog here because it's already 7 and it's Thursday and I would like to get started on editing the studio vlog today because I want to start posting it earlier uh, on Friday I really hope you enjoyed it um, I think it was a little, bit, a little bit all over the place but I still show you a lot of the process of making the Patreon goodies and a lot of products so I hope you enjoyed that I hope you had fun listening to me and seeing how my week went <laughs> um, and yeah stay tuned for the tote bags I'm going to do some drawings to see how I can do them and I then need to do the mock-ups and everything but I'll film everything even though it won't be in the studio vlog but I'll probably do that only next week because I want to draw tomorrow have a lovely week or weekend ahead and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye! Bye!